Hello everyone. In this video we're going to discuss how to begin making your mobile app by using one of our ready-made app templates. When you log in to the editor or when you register for the first time you will see this screen pop up. You have the option to open up your apps which would apply if you have existing apps you're already working on, building an app from scratch, or using one of our ready-made templates which gives you the opportunity to select a template that has already begun the foundation of your mobile app and then customize it for your needs. So we're just going to click right here and that will bring us to our page with all of our ready-made apps. You can see that they're all listed out by industry and you can look through featured apps that we have here. You can also click on a specific industry for example City Guide and see some different templates that you can work with or you can search by an industry for example legal and see anything that might be associated or have legal terms within it and those will pull up as well. Once you have found an app that you're interested in using for example Law Office you simply click on that app you can then see what the app looks like if you'd like to see what the app actually looks like on your device, you can scan the QR code related to the app and you'll be able to pull it up on your device. You also have the option to click Customize the app for me when you want us to actually put in your personalization or I will customize the app myself when you would like to work on it on your own. In this case we will click that button and that will bring us to our WYSIWYG editor where you'll be able to see all of the information in the app as it exists now. Now that you have this in your actual account, you can simply hit Save App As and give it a name. This then saves the app in your account under the name that you would like to utilize and opens it up as your app. You now have the opportunity to do all of the customization by changing any of the information in the existing fields. Customizing with your own information is very simple. You can utilize icons that are already there and just change them. For example, here the law book is a photo. We can go into edit it and specify an image which we can upload from the computer. Specify from a web page. Find on the web by using a search string or specify an image URL which you would do in the case where you are using a public folder perhaps like Dropbox or Flickr and have a particular photo that you would like to pull in. These are also some examples that will come up by default based on terms that are inside your app which the web automatically searches for. You can then simply click on an image. We'll choose this one just so that you can see what it would look like. Click OK and then click OK again and now you can see that that image has been added in. As well, taking a look at our Contact Us page, again, making these changes is as simple as clicking on the icon. You can change the icon image as we just did on the front page. You can change what you term this and also your phone number right here so it's all your personal information. You also can make the button itself text only. You can adjust the height and width appropriately to accommodate for the label. Click View Text Only. Click OK. And now you can see that you have a button that has just text only versus a button that has an image. Email, website, all of the social buttons work exactly the same way. You simply click on it, make any changes that you'd like to the website that's being utilized, the icon and whether or not it's text only following that same process throughout all of the existing functionality that is on the app as well as adding in your own. Underneath the app settings you can add your own icon which is what will show up in the app stores, your own splash screen again with information about your company and or your app, your color themes, the description of the app which again will show up in the app store, and then the various tags which are used when people might be searching the App Store looking for particular types of apps. Detailed information about how to actually utilize all of the tab and button functionality can be found on the Snappy website 
under the resources section in the product tutorials. There we have a number of videos, one that walks you through the WYSIWYG editor and all of the various functionality as well as videos on each individual tab and button so that you can get a more detailed view on how to utilize and customize each. And that is all there is to using ready-made templates to begin the building of your mobile app in Snappy.